اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایا کا نابد و ایا کا نستعین اہدن صراط المستقیم صراط الزین ان امتا علیہم غیر المخدوب علیہم ولدالین آمین ربی شہلی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل اللقتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنی علما اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید ویلکم ٹو ایل کیو ملٹن کلاس نمبر ففٹی نائن دا منتھ آف رمضان از اپان اس ان شاء اللہ اے ویک فرام فرام ٹو ڈے اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ہیو سلیکٹڈ آیا نمبر ون ایٹی فائیو آف صورت البقرہ دس آیا واز مینشنڈ بائی Sheikh Dawood in the Jummah Khutbah yesterday. So I picked it up. I said, okay, this is pro- perhaps perhaps very relevant um, from the month of Quran that is coming. Um, so we'll try to apply our limited knowledge that we have and understand this ayah. And I, I hope uh, that even by reading or reciting this ayah, most of us will make a good sense out of it, what it is being said. But from grammatical perspective, we'll try to get some colors out of it. Before, I, before we, be, we begin this ayah, um, In lesson number 14, uh, we are reading about Felu Amar, the verb of order. So the, and I was reciting the Durud. So I want everyone to pay attention. There are two Fel Amar used in Durud and it's in second person. The entire Durud is in second person. We are we are addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in durood in second person think about it and there are two fail amar there salli and barik just giving you giving you a hit okay um, once we know these things the impact or the taste of durood will get enhanced rather than just reciting it when you know what you're saying and then in what context and uh, what is the color or emotion behind those verbs or words then it enhances the experience basically so inshallah we'll uh, begin this ayah when i started uh, yesterday looking at this ayah and um This is uh, 185 from Surah Baqarah. If, I would, if somebody would ask me, and this is my experience, if somebody would ask me to pinpoint one letter in this entire ayah, even though all the words are like jewels set in an ornament, if somebody would ask me to pick one letter that is so profound and so impactful in this entire ayah. 
what would that letter be? This lam. This lam. This lam basically seals the deal. Basically seals the deal, right? What is this? Now, very. This is a this is a topic that we will learn in book three. But since we are doing it, let's just introduce this concept here. We've been learning about Felu Amar in lesson number fourteen, right? And the Fel Amar is a direct direct order see I'm, I'm i'm emphasizing on direct order to a second person but we don't know that can we give an indirect order to a third person or to a first person in arabic yes we can yes we can okay even though it's not felu amar this is called lamu amar this is called Lamu Amar. And Lamu Amar, this Lam, basically attach itself with Fail Mudare, with Fail Mudare, and it will make Fail Mudare Madzum. So once the Fail Mudare become Madzum, then it becomes an indirect order. This is a concept I think we'll learn in book three, but I think this lam here seals the deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering to do the fasting, the sayam, right, the sayam. We'll uh, analyze this. The other most profound or impactful letters in this ayah is this fa and this fa these two we have not learned it but to taste the sweetness of this ayah we we will discuss these fa what kind of fa fa we know is a harfu ataf the uh, the particle of joining but here fa is actually a bit more than that a bit more than that okay we'll we'll uh, do it so these three letters basically are very impactful in this entire ayah we begin with shaharu what is shaharu muttada right month Wahua Mudaf month of Ramadan. Ramada Ramadana. Right? Mudafale. Majroor. It's a dip tot. Al Mamnu Minasarf. It is Majroor, but it is Ramdanu. Ramadanu. But then since it is a dip tot, so by when it becomes uh, Majroor, it be becomes Ramadana month of Ramadana. Is this definite? It is definite. Because Ramadana is definite. Okay, So don't make a mistake. We are talking about a specific month or definite month of Ramadan. Because Ramadana is definite, therefore Shahru is definite. So Muptada, what is Al-Lazi? Ismu Masula, Ismu Masula, exactly. Um, month of Ramadan. But what is the grammatical value of al lazi here? Khabar. Remember, al lazi al lazina we talked about it in the last class. It comes in the Quran all the time. And we call it Ismu Masula. And it will be followed by Silatul Masul. al lazi is defined here. 
but then allazi is the khabar marfu fi mahli rafin right khabar allazi unzila now what is unzila it, does it remind somebody anything no, yeah, it is Silatul Mosul, yes, but it is a verb, right? It is a verb. Um, and then students who've been with us for the past many, many years, <laughs> uh, they know, and, and we have not learned it, but they know this is form four. Form four. This is a four letter verb, Alivai. This is a four letter verb, right? Uh, but what else is what else is there? And we're not going to go what is form two, three, four, five, six. There are ten forms. Um, but this is form four. But what else? This is passive voice. Majhul. Majhul. Yes. So again, this is a concept which is which we have not learned it so far uh, in the middle of book two. But in the speech, we have an active voice and the passive voice. We learned that thing, right? So when Unzila comes, so when I say Anzala, he sent, he revealed. Okay, he revealed. So where is the file? Mustatir. Anzala, file Mustatir. Taqdeeruhu Hua. But when it becomes passive voice, the first Fa Kalima will, uh, the, the, sorry, the Hamza will get the Dhamma. Unzila. Now, we don't know who sent, who revealed it. It is sent. It, was it, is it is revealed. It is revealed. But who is revealing it? No. Uh, but we will learn this concept. But in Quran, passive voice comes many times, right? It is revealed. Who revealed it? I don't know, right? And then Al Quran is a knife file, but we are not going into that minute that will start confusing a lot of the students who are new to this class unzila fihi it is revealed in it al quranu fihi is your jarun wa majrurun right in it al quranu is a knife file deputizing the file for unzila uh, nadima we we know that right it is but for the purpose of analyzing, we will move on because we don't know what deputy file is or, or knife file is. Hudan. It is reveal, revealed, revealed in it, Quran. Al Quran, knife file, right? Hudan. What is Hudan? Is it Mansub? Yes, it is Mansub. It is Hal. See, this is, I mean, translation couldn't capture it, right? So, Quran was revealed in it in the month of Ramadan. In what condition it was revealed? Hal? In the condition of guidance. Hal, we know Hal, right? Uh, it's 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 a condition. So, the translation was saying, Quran was revealed as a guidance. No, not as a guidance. Quran itself is in a condition of was revealed in the month of Ramadan as a condition of guidance in in a in a guidance condition. Linnasi. Jarun wa majroon shibbu jumla khabar. Right? Uh, and, and, and when I went through that, um, Lin Nasi, this is a nath for Hudan. Number? This jar majroon is a nath for Hudan. Because Quran was revealed as in a condition of. Uh, uh, Hudan, uh, guidance for the mankind, 
right so this condition for the mankind is related to al quran is a not not for hodan wow is ataf bayyanatin clear proofs or enlightened proof roshan misal um is this majroor or is this mansoob mansoob this goes back to hal but why do i see a kasra hai because kullu uh, sorry uh, jama muannas salim jama muannas salim remember with the concept khalaqallahu as samawati wal arda remember that right so so quran again this bayanati is the hal condition of quran cannot we cannot um, so something is revealed quran is revealed in in what condition it was revealed as a guidance and as enlightened proof or clear proof in that condition it is so it's it's one it's it's one thing we cannot like in a translation when we read the translation it looks like there are three different words but it's actually three in one min al huda from it is the guidance min is harjar al huda is the ism majrur fi mahalli jarrin wal furqan and fulqar fulqa furqani again it goes back to huda which is majrur and al furqani is going back to min which is the uh, prescribed criteria right al furqani now come this fa fa man shahida minkum ash shahra fal yasmuhu this is yasmuhu no no yasumhu yasumhu ha majum yasumhu um fa is the um harf wa tfin right but it is alfa wa sababiya or what we call if we, if you recall in book 3 we learned about the conditional sentences and fa the fa can come as a condition what is a condition if this then this right so this is an in quran conditional sentences brings very impactful speech in in quran so this fa is not just an at a fair it is coming as harfu shart so if and what is this man ismu shart majzum nadim bhai ab yaad hai ismu shart majzum and shahida felu shart majzum we we if, uh, if you recall we we created a small chart in the in the last class we'll do it inshallah when the topic comes but this man shahida is basically man is ismu shart majzum and shahida is felu shart majzum for now just remember it because they're both connected to so so if whosoever witnesses minkum where is the file in shahida mustatir mustatir taqdiruhu huwa and minkum the file is hidden inside the minkum because among you all from you all jarun wa majrurun there is a file which is connected to a mutalliq ala shahida is it getting too complicated is it getting too complicated okay a shahra is your uh, mafulun bi right so whosoever witnesses among you witness what the month 
Ashahara, the month. What month? Sharu Ramdana. So this is one condition. So whosoever witnesses it among you, the uh, the month, Jawabu Shart. Again, Fa comes. Jawabu Shart. So if we are witnessing, inshallah, we will witness the month. So what will happen then, if you do that, then Jawabu Shart, Fa, La, Lamu Amar, we said that, Lamu Amar, must, should, must, it's an order, indirect order, Yasumhu, fasted it. So remember Lamu Amar is an indirect order that is given to a third person and to a first person. But whereas Felu Amar is always to a second person. That's all we need to know for now, for ease. And then Lamu Amar attaches itself to Fel Mudare and it will make Fel Mudare Matsum. For now that's it. And Vaman Kana, and whoever, whosoever is or, or become, where is the Ismu Kana? Mustate, Takdiruhu, Hua, Maridan, Khabar Kana, Mansub, who becomes sick, Au, we, we, or Allah suffering. You see, all this all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Now we can directly understand what is being, we even don't need the translation or Allah suffering or upon a journey. Fa iddatun. Fa, so iddatun, what is iddatun? Time frame or prescribed days. Uh, Min ayyamin, min harjar ayyamin is a majroor, okhara means other. So he will complete the prescribed days from other days. Min ayyamin, is that good in a, in a way? We're not going into, yeah. <laughs> I think we went too deep. Yeah, because they were Yeah, yeah, we, I think we went too deep. Yeah, so we'll just keep it at a high level, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll do that. Yuridu, Radha, he intended. Yuridu, he intends. Where is the file in? Where is the file? No, 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 not Mr. Allah. This is Jumla failure, right? This is Jumla failure. So remember in Jumla failure, whenever there is an ism, which is marfu, whether right after the <laughs> whether right after the fail in the way, right? Whether right after the fail or in the middle or in the end, you immediately say this is my file. So if Allah, so we say Yuridu Allah, Allah intends. Ji. Ji. Um, and this this is what confused me sometimes. A lot of time we try to look for file within the ayah, uh, the, ayah. the word itself. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it's followed by yes. that fail. So, like, whenever I'm reading it, yeah. uh, how do I capture that? You know, like, uh, should my eye be going to the next word first for looking for the file in the word itself, or uh, what's the trick? To so, you, so, so you, so you read the ayah, and in 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 the entire ayah, if you find if you find any ism which is marfu, you immediately would link it back to that verb and say this is the file for that verb. So I don't even have to look for the file within that verb. No, not necessarily. If you if you if you found if you if, if, if you find an ism which is marfu in the ayah, then you don't have to look the file inside the verb. Then it is mawjood. Otherwise it is mustatir. Otherwise it is mustatir, right? In this case it is mawjood, present. Allah intends bikumul yusra. Allah intend intend what? 
al-yusra is mafulun bihi mansub right allah intends for you all there is kasra in the in the bar huh there is kasra oh. oh okay okay jazakallah bikum al-yusra right what is happening here what is happening here second person second person the order is given to here allah is talking to us directly become allah intends for you all the ease now one would think and i don't know i'm not a scholar i'm just a instructor why al yusra is well we know it is mafulun bihi mansub but why it is mansub oh sorry uh, why is it definite now this is where the where, where this is where the pondering begin this is where the grammar will help us dig deep inside and uh, nadim by any thoughts the thing is if you can look into that both the words al yusra and al usra yes so ease and uh, some kind of you know the hardships possibility so they're both in the same condition yes uh, definite yeah definite yeah yeah definite. but why they are definite though like why would not be used indefinite because it's it's a certainty it's uh, it's yeah it is and and i could be i mean the the definite uh, the 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 purpose perhaps the purpose of using a definite noun here definite noun uh, here the ism here is that this is a special gift particular special gift the the is and the hardship right so which is associated with the month of ramadan am i this is the uh, the allah intends this is in our hardship especially for the month of ramadan so you, you see i mean nobody can actually challenge i mean if somebody would have thought about it would probably challenge okay you're talking about the specific month of ramadan but you're here using an indefinite noun here so nobody can challenge it now right wala yuridu and he does not yuridu again he intends become for all of you al usra the hardship the hardship for the month of ramadan wali tukmilu what is this li here al mustar muawwal we not going into there right but this is but this is al mustar al muawwal right and to complete but but we know this is is in second person because this ta is indicating to me that it is fil mudare mansub remember uh, when lamut lamutalil this lam is lamutalil uh, if 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 you remember which makes masdar which is an alternate for masdar become al masdar al muawwal no that is lam muzhalik or oh, that is lam muzhalik right that is la not li right so this is lam mutalil but this is uh, this is in second person and this uh, verb which is tu is telling me that this is um, this is the fil mudare mansub when i say li nashrab ashaya we must drink the the tea now right li nashrab ashaya we we so so this is so this is mansub 
time frame, the prescribed days. Wali to kabiru again to magnify. To kabiru to magnify. And again, this is a second person, right? Uh, Mansub. And this is form six. Form six. Allaha. Magnify, magnify whom? Mafulun bihi. Allah, Allah ma hadakum upon what guidance He has given to all of us in second person, wow, and laallakum, laallah comes. Where is this mulallah? Kum, and tashkurun is khabalallah, right? Is it coming as uh, alishwaq or uh, attaraji? Remember, laallah we know laallah can be can come in Quran and I think uh, number you said majority of the time Lala comes in 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 a taraji, in a hope in a meaning of hope this Lala is coming in a meaning of hope not in the meaning of fear which is Alishwak Tashkurun is your Fail Mudare Marfu where is the file? Wow. Wow is the file. Now, st we'll start thinking about it. This is passive voice, majhul, but this is madi, because Quran has already been revealed. I'm just thinking about it. Right, but then starting from here, Fail Mudare starts because now this thing is still relevant for us. Mudare, 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 and Mudare. Right, so the entire ayah is balanced, it makes sense to us. It takes some practice. The month of Ramadan is coming, and I hope during the month of Ramadan, even I mean, a lot of people they come in and then they, after Isha, they listen to the Quran in the Taraweeh, right, or read or recite the Quran. But I think the most important thing is. To understand the Quran. So even if we find rather than completing the entire Quran, recite the entire Quran, just pick few ayahs and then think about it, analyze it, understand it, ponder upon it, I think that would be more beneficial in the month of Ramadan. I mean of course coming and listening and reciting has a great deal but I think the key here is the key here is, and I'm not a scholar, I'm an instructor, the key here is to make sure that the Quran goes beyond our throats. Because Prophet said there will be a time when Quran will not go beyond people's throat. And that is most of the time true in today's world. We have, mashallah, really nice people who can recite Quran who, who recite really nice but they don't understand so the the Quran just is stuck here that's it it does it's not it doesn't go and this is what Prophet said that this is the hadith this is a Sahih hadith and then we have people who are mashallah inshallah they'll get great, get great reward for being the hufaz but when they stand there and then the entire month of Ramadan they do the tarawi hurt the heart. Like you understand what you How will heart change? How will heart change? And we have we have Hafaz who, who, who just sits the entire month of Ramadan and they recite the entire Quran, but it doesn't go beyond the throat. How does it go beyond the throat? This is what we need to do.
This is this is what is required. And for listeners, it doesn't go beyond our ears. And for listeners, yeah, I mean, the Prophet said it doesn't go beyond their so ears. For some most of the listeners, it doesn't go beyond their ears. That's it. It's just words coming in, and then uh, that's it. That's the end of it. This is a tragedy. Unfortunately, this is a tragedy. Just struggling with the Walidu Kabiru. Um, like what we know is, you know, when, when we are looking for Fil Mudare, <coughs> I know the Ta is there, but normally, you know, we just look for Ta in the start. Ta, Ya, No, Hamza, right? So, uh, what is the trick in here? Uh, like well, 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 this is Lamu Talil. We have not learned Lamu Talil here, but once we understand Lamu Talil, then Lamu Talil attaches itself to, to, to the Fil Mudare. So this Lam here is a Lamu Tali. We have not introduced that, right? And um, Kabiru, like uh, I, I know it's coming for uh, plural, right? But in, uh, in, in the chart that I have, I never see Biru, you know. Uh, yeah, well, that, that again, that again we have not, this is form two. Zafir Bhai has a question. Zafir Bhai? Yeah, I'm just thinking, um, like if you have, uh, can, you, can I see the board? Can I see the board, please? So you have a, a Lindasi for people and Bayi Latin um, a clear proof. This is acting as an adjective for both of them. Linnasi is, uh, 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 Linnasi is, is, is acting as an adjective. You're absolutely right, Zafir Bhai. Uh, you're right, Zafir. By translation, everyone would be different, right? Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, the way you translated it makes sense for you because this is how you understood this ayah, and whoever is doing the translation would understand in his own imagination. And uh, you're trying to, uh, and and this is this proves the point. You're trying to explain to us how did you understood, how did you understand this ayah in your own words, trying to translate it. And, and you're absolutely right. I mean, there is nothing wrong with your understanding. Because, right? Because you're, you, you, you're pondering upon it, but then the way you are uh, explaining it to us, using your choice of words, and, and, and uh, uh, the way uh, the, you construct the English grammar and whatnot, might be different for somebody else. This is why we have to go directly in, 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 into the... Uh, uh, into the iron and understand the, the real flavor of it so that we don't have to but but yeah you're right Zafir Bhai I mean this is uh, yeah yeah this is uh, this is the you're right I mean but there were therefore if you take two or three different translations they'll all be different I mean they will be close but they they will be a bit different, different they were different words we, we need to understand so and this is why going beyond the throat so in the month of Ramadan, rather than, okay, I, I, I have to be very careful when I say, yeah, if somebody wants to recite the entire Quran, that's up to them. But even if you just take one fourth of, one fourth uh, or, or maybe one ruku of uh, Surah Al-Baqarah and, and, and understand it the way we doing it, I think that is far more superior than Perhaps, perhaps far more superior than somebody who's just uh, 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 listening on the airs or maybe reciting throats and it's not going down. And that is that is a tragedy. Because everyone is saying, you know, Th that is a tragedy. Yeah, yeah. And you know, people will say, well, I've I finished two Qurans, I finished three Quran, but what did you get from it? Anyways, uh, okay, so Inam Bhai, uh, uh, sorry, 20 minutes, okay. Yeah, I mean, we know, we know, uh, we know in lesson number 14, um, uh, we are uh, learning about Filu Amar. Um, 
and uh, we're not gonna going to do all the exercises um, at this point in time uh, like in page number 97 of the old book dr saab is telling us how he's performing the surgery on fail mudare to make it fail amar we have already done it right so i think for page number 97 uh, if we just go through it, um, we would know. For example, I'll just quickly go. Kataba yaktubu taktubu. Taktubu, you write. Right? So the first thing is remove the ta because this is a sign of it being mudare. Right? So you remove it and then you make it madzum and then you bring hamzatul wasal. And what is on the end kalima? The dhamma. So you put dhamma there. So it become uktub. Pelamar become uktub. We know that, right? And then the one of the formula we said, if the end kalima is a dhamma, then put dhamma on hamzatul wasal. Otherwise, always put kasra. That's it. That's all we have to remember, right? So in the next thing, jalasa tajlisu, ijlis, right? Zahaba tazhabu. Tazhabu, izhab. So in an kalima, if it's a kasra or a fata, doesn't matter. The hamzatul wasal will get the kasra. That's all Dr. Sahib is telling us in, in uh, page number 97. Then we had, then we already did iqra bismi rabbikal lazi khalaq in the previous class, class number 58. We already did izhab ilafi rauna, right in Ambai? We already did Izab Anta Wa Khuka. We have already done these ayas in the last class. So that is what important is to recognize the fail Amar. Let's do lesson uh, uh, exercise number four. Okay, this is this is important. Okay, the 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 main concept is in uh, exercise number four. Here, Dr. Saab is giving us the fail Madi. Then he is giving us. Um, the mudare and then he want us to to identify the amar okay identify the amar and it's only for hua hua now one thing i must say perhaps i don't want to uh, make an error in dr sab <laughs> exercise he's using the hua form he probably should have used the anta form in the fail mudare yeah, because we're making Amar, but that's fine. He just wanted, maybe he just wanted to test us. But anyways, Qatala Yaktulu. What will be the Mudari of Sil? Very good. Okay, I will just quickly go. Zahaba Yazhabu. What would be the Mudari? Izhab. Izhab, right? Jalasa Yajlisu. What would be the Mudari? Ijlis. And 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 uh, my um, my brothers who are on online, you can open up your mic and and just quickly say that. That's fine. Fahima yafhamu. Right, ijlis. Fahima fahima yafhamu. What would be the amar? Ifham ifham ifham. Right. Hafiza yafazu. Ehfaz, very good. Sajada yasjudu? Uzjud, very good. Raka'a yarka'u? Irka. Yeah, irka, because it's madzum, right? Irka. Shakara yashkuru? Ushkur. Samea yasma'u? Isma. So remember, watch for the, the letter, watch for the haraka on the ayan kalima. If it is Dhamma, then, then put the Dhamma on um, Hamzatul Wasal, otherwise put the Kasara. That's all. Okay. Rafa'a Yarfa'u. Irfa. Very good. Darasa Yadrusu. Udrus. Very good. Alima Ya'lamu. Elam. Shariba Yashrabu. Ishrab. Halaka Yahliku. Ihlak. Kasara yaksiru iksar. Kasala yaksilu iksal. Tabaka yatbuhu utbuh. Kataa yaktau 
Ikta, very good. Ikta, very good. Jama'a yajma'u. Ijma'a. Very good. Abada ya'budu. Obud. Very good. Nazala yanzilu. Inzil. Arafa ya'rifu. Arif. Akala ya'kulu. Kul. Kul, very good. Ji zafir bhai. Kul, very good. Kul, because, because this this Hamza is a weak letter. We did that in the last class. We'll drop. Faala yafalu ifal. Fataha yaftahu ifta. Daraba yadribu idrib. Kataba kataba yaktubu uktub. Saala yasalu isal. Mana a yamnau imna dahika yadhaku idhak rakiba yarkabu irkab ya khuzu khuz 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 ya kulu and ya khuzu khuz and kul very good Okay, uh, I think in Ambai, that's all we will do in lesson number 14. That's all we need to know. Um, we will introduce the Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna form of the fail Amar when the time comes. Um, I think we have done it. Yeah, we have done it. So, we have already covered that. But for a little more practice, when the time comes, we'll practice a bit more. But that's all we are learning about. So yeah, in uh, in lesson number 14. So I would recommend everyone to go back and then do the exercises in lesson number 14. But that's basically what it is, like how to make an Amar uh, from uh, from the Mudare. Dr. Saab, you, you have a, uh, your Tarbiya class starting at 8.30, inshallah, right? So we need some time for that. For the Ramadan, yes. Uh, so this is the formal class. We have the entire setup, um, and then we are recording these sessions, and they are on on the YouTube for the month of Ramadan. I think everyone needs a break. I do need a break too, uh, but it's not a complete break. Uh, every Saturday, inshallah, after um, Salatul Fajr, same time. Uh, will be in the masjid whoever everyone is welcome will after the fajr prayers uh, salatul fajr you're welcome to come in and ask any topic for revision perspective even if you start from book one any concept from book one or book two just come with just come prepared think about what you need to practice We'll sit in a formal, in, in, informal setting, and then we'll revise these topics. Okay, and even if it's a, it doesn't matter if it's a, it's a concept which is very basic. It's all about learning. Okay, so no question is relevant or irrelevant. All the questions are relevant, but that would be an informal setting uh, during the month of Ramadan. So everyone is welcome. We'll stay here whoever wants to catch up this is the time for us to catch up and then maybe we'll do some more uh, maybe we'll bring some ayah or something we'll think about it and then we'll ponder upon it but, informal. but, but everything will be informal nothing will be recorded right nothing will be recorded inshallah a'udhu billahi min shaitani rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim la yukallifu allahu nafsan illa was aha lahama kasabat wa alayha maktasabat rabbana la to ahizna in nasina awaktana rabbana wala tahmil alayna isran kama hamal tahu alalazina min kablina rabbana wala to hamilna mala to katalana bi wafu anna wafilana warhamna anta maulana 
فنصرنا علی القوم الکافرین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ